Carolyn from All Things Effie, and I am here with the Extra Long Pile AK Duo. Um, so this uh, high pile gun does, um, uh, it can be set to do either 3.5 centimeters to 4.5 centimeters. Um, something that has I've just become aware of is that um, they don't really suggest altering the pile height yourself with this machine. Apparently it's just, it's quite tricky. I haven't actually tried it because I don't, um, yeah, I don't have a machine to do it with quite yet, but I will obviously try it. Um, but uh, yeah, so it's just good if you have like a pile height in mind, um, just when you're ordering, you know, uh, just, just ask us to have it ordered so that it does that pile height. So you could order it at three centimeters, you could order it four point, Four centimeters or 4.5 centimeters for example um, so you get the gun obviously um, in a lovely box with like a nice foam insert for storage um, you get um, your adapter that goes to your wall outlet um, this converts the uh, AC current from your wall into DC current for the the machine and the motor um, and so that means that this machine is universal and can be used anywhere in the world so with this machine you also get a instruction manual which is kind of helpful it mostly just explains how to thread the machine how to get it set up um, I also provide my own instructions as well um, which give you a little bit more information about what to expect with this gun the biggest thing is that it is um, it's got a bit of a kickback because it's so long, so you need to apply extra pressure with this machine to make sure that you it snips every line nicely and neatly. Um, you also can't go too fast with this gun. Um, you have to keep the speed, turn the speed up if your loops are getting, or if your stitches are getting gappy because it needs to complete its cycle and snip before you go on to the next line. Otherwise, it's just not going to you're just going to end up with loops and a bit of a mess. So just, yeah, make sure lots of, um, lots of force on your cloth and, um, and also just lots of oil with this machine because it's obviously got a much longer body and a lot more space for the oil to be distributed. So, um, make sure you add oil in these tiny little holes there, there, and there at a drop and they suggest every hour of tufting for this machine um, to add two drops of oil okay so that's a bit more than probably what you do with an AK-1 which is every maybe one to two hours of tufting or two to three hours of tufting um, what else about this beautiful machine um, uh, you also get some spare parts as well. Nothing too major. They don't give you a replacement scissor set for this machine um, or a replacement scissor opener because these parts are obviously a lot bigger and cost a lot more um, to produce. So um, I will stock replacement parts eventually, but right now everybody's just getting into using this machine. So we... Yeah, I just don't quite have those yet, but they will be on the website probably in late December, early January 2024. Um, yeah, so um, the thing that I always like to mention when, oh, sorry, and then also the machine comes with um, your wall plug, obviously. Um, so one thing I always like people to, to do when they get their machine is to open it um, and before you start just plugging away keep the machine unplugged and rotate the cog wheel with your hand make sure that the scissors come out and close fully like that um, at the top of the cycle and then make sure that they fully open at the bottom of the cycle. So you kind of have to look down through this channel here and you'll see that the scissors are open, fully open. And they should push against the, um, it should push against the edge of the channel. So 
So here's your channel here. The scissors should push against the edge of the channel, but not scrape against the edge. So they should be wide open, but not like too wide. Um, if that makes sense. So, uh, it's always good. Like if you ever are wondering, oh, is my, what's happening with my machine? Unplug it and do this because you'll definitely feel if there's something clunky happening, um, you will feel a significant resistance. So it's good to like try it when it's brand new. So you know what to expect. And then if there's problems later on, you'll be much more aware of, of what it feels like, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, get a familiarity with the machine. These are still industrial machines. They are not just plug and play and just, you know, um, never, never maintain it again kind of thing. You need to give them proper maintenance, proper oiling, um, and proper cleaning. So you want to go over, um, all your... When, you, when you're tufting, you want to go over all the different parts and brush out the fluff um, as you go because it's going it, to, what it ends up doing is it ends up um, kind of clogging up the different parts and it can create so much buildup that the machine actually stops working, which surprisingly I've had um, a few returns that have been like that. So just make sure after every use, you just give it a wee brush down or before you start tufting each day or in between your session, whatever works for you. Um, so yeah, basically oiling every hour, um, lots of cleaning and lots of oiling. Oh, I already said oiling, did I? I'm a little bit hungry and tired. So yeah, oil. In there, little drops. And obviously just checking the cycle, getting a feel for the machine, and then you're ready to tough, basically. And in the next video, I will go over how to make it into a loop pile gun and how to set it back after. Um, because it's um, not the same as the AK Duo in the sense that it comes with a loop pile head. So it's more like the AK-1 in how you change it to a loop pile gun, and it's by removing or by moving the scissor opener, or by moving the scissor closer all the way to the top here. And, but you wanna make sure you do this in the correct way so that you can set it back to cut pile when you um, wanna use it again. It makes beautiful, lovely, fluffy loops. I love it. So um, yeah, hopefully you'll enjoy that aspect of the gun. So yeah, um, basically if you want the extra long pile, High, pi high Pile AK Duo, um, you can visit uh, allthingsfe.com, which is our New Zealand shop, which kind of um, ships worldwide, or we now have a few available on our um, North American website, allthingsfe.ca, and yeah, we've only got, I think, 10 in stock, so once they're gone, it's going to be a few months before we restock, uh, or not a few months, sorry, <laughs> a few weeks. <laughs> So there is this gorgeous machine. Enjoy.